Was it difficult in the industry when you were first starting oh out? Oh my God, it was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. Give me some horror stories. We see the success, but okay. what were some horror stories? Oh my, well, there's a couple stories in, in uh, Curvy and Confident, and there's one that uh, it was, there was a few times, like, uh, you just almost not, you just weren't invited to the party. Um, you weren't getting paid enough like the other girls that were doing exactly the same work, but those girls were sitting on the side smoking Marlboro Reds, not having lunch with us, and the girls were longingly looking at us while we were having lunch with everybody else and getting paid half, but they were the ones that were going, we would love to eat like you. You're so lucky that you get to work. And I'm thinking, oh my God, this is so strange. I had a photographer say, I'm not gonna shoot this fatty. When I was, and I was like, I, I'm very, very athletic. So I almost wanted to tell him, come and do 20 push-ups with me because you're an idiot. But like five years later, I'm down in Miami and he got all cleaned up and everything. And he, I was in People Magazine a bunch of times and I was making a name for myself. And he knew me through my name, not remembering that he really, really tormented me at this one shoot. And I said to him, you know, we've already shot together. He goes, oh, we should work together. We should work together. We already shot together. I said, by the way, like <laughs> you, you actually helped me in my career. And he goes, great, darling. We should definitely work together. And it taught me that bullies, it has nothing to do with the person with the point of the bullying. It's the bullier that you've got to just go, I forgive you, but I'm not going to forget.